stop off at Scotland Well so we could show you guys um, our local spring. It's not actually that local but the ones that are more local to <laughs> us have been shut down. So it takes about an hour to get here from Edinburgh um, and I'd say probably about half an hour from Dunkeld. Um, and as we're driving through, Mona was like, it would be so cool if we could do a video and show the guys what a spring is, looks like and a little bit more about it. So um, we're going to go and show you it in a minute, but I just wanted to quickly tell you about how it comes up. So basically, if you ever learned in school about the water cycle, you'll remember that the water comes down in the, in the, as the rain, or it comes off the side of the mountain, and it sinks into the earth, and it goes down, 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 down. And a lot of the time, it ends up in um, like an aquifer or an underwater lake. And so these lakes are really, really deep, deep under the earth and they've been filtered as they've passed down through the soil through clays and stones. So the water gets filtered naturally through the earth. And then that aquifer sits there and due to pressure, and I don't really know the physics about it, um, when the water's ready to pop up, maybe it's because there's a slightly um, more open part of the crust of the earth, the, the, the water will break through that crust and come up. So that's what this um, well we're about to show you has how that has formed. It's bubbled up literally from one of these really, really deep down water, underwater lakes. And sometimes you'll go to a place and there'll be a well. And a well is different to a spring. So a well is where they've actually purposefully burrowed down into the earth to get the water to come up. So I actually think that springs are a little bit better because it's like the water is ready to come up. So it's bubbling up in its own time. And so um, you'll be able to see that right now. Should we go show them? Mm -hmm, sure. So can you just tell us, Sue, why are we better to drink spring water than water that comes out the tap? All right, well, spring water is um, really highly charged, first of all, with energy. It's not been sitting stagnant in a pipe or in a tank. So anything that stays moving and stays flowing then it's got lots of energy in it. If you just sit still and you're stagnant, you feel like you're, you're lucky. So with this here, we're at a spring now, right? Is the water always moving in the spring? It's always coming from the ground up to the surface. It's amazing. Like, the amount of water that's coming through this right now is incredible. And you could fill litres and litres um, of water from it. And it's constant all day long, all, all day long moving. So the big... Uh, holding tank that's here is constantly changing. And time. so it's fair enough to say, is this right, that water that travels constantly through the earth is pulling with it minerals and mm -hmm. nutrition that wouldn't be, for example, so readily available in tap water? Absolutely. So tap water, um, what happens in that process is they will um, filter it, of course, they always filter um, tap water and then they add things. So they might add chlorine or whatever to try and sterilize it. And in that process, I'm not really sure what happens, whether they lose min minerals or, or what, but for sure the water um, isn't, as, um, isn't as good for you. So they use a measurement called TDX to, um, to measure how much is in the water. And uh, TDS means total dissolved solids. So for example, uh, there are five TDS means there are five things in the water that are not water. Okay. So maybe those things could be calcium, iron, copper, and then sometimes it could be other things like aluminium and maybe even some kind of drug that's been uh, leached into the soil. And so like the that. water gathers all these things from anything that's in contact with until we drink it? Yeah. So exactly. for example, in Edinburgh I know that lots of the water pipes are made from lead. So it's possible that the water's carrying lead in it, right? And that's coming from the pipe, not from the water. Exactly. So that's why drinking this water is better than drinking tap water in an inner city, for example. Definitely. I think the TDS when I checked last in London was 295. So wow. So that means there's 295 things in there that are not water. That's so and amazing. bear in mind those things could be the contraceptive pill, it could be some other kind of hormone that's leached into the water system. It's really just from people's urine and people's passing, you know, whatever, um, and throwing things into the, into the toilet. So this is another time to um, reiterate Twist and Sprout, one of Twist and Sprout's beliefs, which is what you put in is what you get out. So let's go now and have a look at the bubbling water 
and then let's try some of it and explain to everybody what it tastes like. Sorry it's kind of dark guys but we've got a real sunny day in Scotland here so we're making the most of it. Shadows exist when the sun exists. Okay let's see if you can see this. So you can see it's bubbling up in lots of different places and constantly changing. Oh my gosh, it's so cool to watch it. It's like the scene from the labyrinth. It doesn't even look real. It's not, yeah, it's amazing. This is water coming straight out the ground at its natural pace. And it's it's sand that it's coming up through, which is so amazing for me to see sand in a little town like this. So back in the olden days, they used to take this water and use it in, in the local hospital for people who had illnesses and disease. Um, especially leprosy and things like that. So Robert the Bruce was treated for leprosy here using this water. That's so cool. cool. Um, and I would say a good TDS would be something around 50 to 100, nothing more than 100, that's a bit too much. And you might think, why would we want a TDS of 50? Well, that's where the minerals are. So those 50 things in a spring water, because it's come straight from the aquifers, it is holding minerals. And we want minerals in our diet, right? Yeah, but just not too many. So a really strong mineral water, some of the mineral waters that you can find, there are more medicinal, between 100 and 150 minerals in them, then uh, those are used more for, like I say, medicine. So this might be um, the pennies dropping, that that's why mineral water is called mineral water. Yeah. For me, it's always just been the title of what bottled water is, but now it makes sense that it's water that's carrying minerals. Yeah. Cool, let's taste it and see what it's like. So basically we're in this little shelter that's hiding the water from the sun and then you come down here, these little steps um, it's over there. I don't know, so it's just going to go and get a jug that we can put water in to try it So then you come down here and then it's coming out here like this So in Scotland there's so many old wells, there's one right in the Royal Mile in the centre of town but there's no water coming out of it anymore. So this used to be the way that people collected their water source. They'd come to a well with buckets or with jugs and with their families probably. And then they'd gather their water and they'd take it home and drink it. And probably wash in it and do everything because as we know, water, the quality of water is super important. And washing in good water will make a difference to life too rather than just drinking good quality water so if you can get yourself to a spring basically do it here's sue okay you're gonna drink it mm. i think the difference between this and tap water first of all you cannot taste any chlorine it's so clean and fresh and, and nice and light it doesn't taste like river water. Sometimes river water feels really sticky and kind of like there's dirt in it. This is clean, um, but it's also not too plain. So it's kind of, I don't know, it feels really crisp. Like it's that. funny because when you drink water that's maybe going through like a RO system or something like that, it can taste sort of empty. Yeah, this has definitely got body to it. So it's not empty water. <laughs> you try it? Yeah, I really want to try it. Yeah. Can I show me sign it? Yep. Look at the sunshine, it's so good. And it's also freezing. You should always have it's freezing. It's not as cold as I thought it was going to be, it's lovely. So Sue's right, it's definitely not empty. It's not like a clear liquid that's not doing anything in my mouth. It's kind of soft and got a texture to it at the same time, which is so cool. Bottled water, I mean, we, we drink bottled water where we can and from glass. And I noticed the difference between water coming out of a plastic bottle and coming out of a glass bottle, but this is another level. I've never had water straight from a well like this before. It's so cool. I love it. So I think we're going to bottle some up mm -hmm. and take some home with us. And we're probably going to sit in the sun and drink as much water as we can. Um, and try and remember that what you put in is what you get out, so good water in, good energy back out. So Find a spring. Find and a go spring and, drink and from go, it. And go <laughs> forth and drink spring water. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Doing this and tap water, first of all you cannot taste any chlorine. It's so clean and fresh and, and nice and light. It doesn't taste like river water. 
Sometimes river water feels really sticky and kind of like there's dirt in it. This is clean, um, but it's also not too plain. So it's kind of, I don't know, it feels really crisp. It's funny because when you drink water that's maybe going through like a RO system or something like that, it can taste sort of empty. Yeah, this has definitely got body to it. So it's not empty water. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I really want to try it. Can I show me shine it? Yeah. Look at the sunshine, it's so good. And it's also freezing. You should always have it's freezing. It's not as cold as I thought it was going to be, it's lovely. Sue's right, it's definitely not empty. It's not like a clear liquid that's not doing anything in my mouth. It's kind of soft and it's got a texture to it at the same time, which is so cool. Bottled water, I mean, we, we drink bottled water where we can and from glass. And I notice the difference between water coming out of a plastic bottle and coming out of a glass bottle, but this is another level. I've never had water straight from a well like this before. It's so cool. I love it. So I think we're going to but all some up mm -hmm. and take some home with us. And we're probably going to sit in the sun and drink as much water as we can. Um, and try and remember that what you put in is what you get out. So good water in, good energy back out. So Find a spring. Find and a go spring and drink and from go, it. And go forth <laughs> and drink spring water. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ha ha. We don't quite agree. So uh, drink spring water. Ha ha. <laughs>